going to teach you guys how to care for mice. Um, for mice, sorry. We have two little mice. Our neighbor's dog, it killed the mother and most of the babies. We were left with two of them. They are in the aquarium. We have a heating pad underneath. They are wrapped up in a blanket. The thing with mice, you want them to be warm. They don't need to be too warm. Especially now, like ours are 14 days old. We know that because they open their eyes. And so they're going to be moving around a lot. We don't want them to overheat. I'm going to give the phone to my son, who is eight. I apologize for the mess. I just had surgery, so not everything in my house has been taken care of. <laughs> Um, and we have lots of little kids, so while I'm doing this video, they very well may come in. So I'm going to grab one now. They are really getting used to being fed. And so, yeah, like, see, watch, he'll probably just climb right on my hand. Sure does. Um, now, I just want to make a point. Come on over here, I don't have it a little open. Nope, while. just come on over here. Like that. So they... Maybe. Yeah, so it's nice and covered up. So, um, I just want to make a point. We do not hold these animals. They are rescues. We are rehabilitating them and keeping them alive so that we can release them in nature. Yes, they may get eaten, but they'll serve their purpose. Now, right now, I am stimulating the digestive tract by rubbing it with a Q-tip. Um, mice can't do this on their own. Their mommies do it for them, but their mom's not around, and so I am. And so it's actually pooping a little bit, which is good. Um, <clears throat> you know, mice are really hard to take care of. So I don't recommend taking on this project if the mommy is still around. Let the mom take care of it. Its milk is better for it. It's better at taking care of it. Um, you know, it's a mama mouse's job, not a human's job. It is going pee a little bit, so that's good. Um... I've been doing this before and after. The reason is, is because these guys were so dehydrated. They don't always pee afterwards or poop afterwards. Oh, he's actually going poop, which is great. And what's really great about it is that um, he doesn't have diarrhea or anything. So it's taken a little bit because they're being fed kitten milk and an electrolyte mixture. The kitten milk, um, we're putting twice the amount of water in it. Remember to warm it up a little bit. It should just be warm. I'm holding him pretty gently in a spot where he doesn't have to He doesn't have much wiggle worm room, but I'm still holding him gently. I'm feeding him with a paintbrush Because it makes less of a mess. It's easier for them to eat We don't have to worry about any formula getting up his nose and him aspirating and dying um, He suckles it pretty good eventually I'll be able to put it in the aquarium and he'll just be able to drink from the paintbrush now, these guys are already getting pretty friendly where they're running to me when they're eating. We don't play with them at all. Again, our goal is not to have a pet. They don't need to live in this aquarium their whole life. They will be released. We just want them to survive. We didn't want them to suffer. <clears throat> See, he really likes the formula. Now, it's really tricky to care, to care for mice. They need the perfect diet, and the perfect diet is their mom's milk. So we're supplementing with the kick. The kitten milk and here and there we have to use electrolyte formula you can buy Pedialyte just remember it has a shelf life of about 48 hours it's really easy to make it on your own it's literally some warm water a little bit of sugar and salt you can look up recipes online in fact today I have two puking kids and so I made them homemade Pedialyte which tastes so much better you can just add some flavored jello to it and it tastes just tastes a lot better than Pedialyte you get at the store, and obviously it's cheaper, and you can make the amount that you need rather than, like, buy a huge bottle. Um, really, the most important things about taking care of mice is that they need to eat every two hours. As they're getting older, they're eating a little less. I'm going to be introducing food to them in the next couple days, so you'll see videos on that where I have softened, I'll probably do hamster food, and then I'll just add water mixture to it to soften it up so that they can start eating from it, but they'll still need to be fed with this kitten formula, again, twice diluted with water. Um, and they'll still need their bowels stimulated for a while until they're really going to the bathroom on their own. And look at him, he's actually like pretty hungry today. What's funny is that this 
little guy, I mean, they have had diarrhea, they were constipated, they were on the brink of death, and they're doing so well. Keep in mind, we got pretty lucky, though, because they were about 10 or 11 days old when we got them. And again, we know that because their eyes are open, and that happens typically around 14 days. The younger they are, the harder it is to get them to survive. I mean, they're just really difficult creatures. They have to eat a lot. You have to have the perfect mixture. I mean, there were days where they needed an electrolyte water, and then, you know, later in the day, they don't need as much, and so they're getting diarrhea. And so you have to find, like, the perfect balance of what to feed them. Um, is there anything you can think of, Austin, that you feel like the world needs to know about taking care of mice? So you should never pet them. That's true. Why shouldn't you? Well, then they'll get used to humans taking exactly. them, and then when they're in nature, they know, will not know how to take care of themselves. That's exactly right. And I think a lot of people have really good intentions. Their goal is to rehabilitate an animal or creature, but they have to be able to survive in nature. And unfortunately, if they are too attached to a human, that is difficult to do. I'm not overly concerned with the mice because they um, they spend the first, you know, three, four weeks with their mom before they leave their nest. However, our goal is to make sure that they're able to survive out in nature. It's been six minutes. It has been six minutes, hasn't it? It takes a long time to do these videos. Um, if you find mice, call a wildlife rehabilitation center near you. You can look that up on the internet. They have a list of not only centers, but people who specialize with different types of animals, whether it's rodents, small animals, big animals, or birds. Um, you know, again, people have the best of intentions, but you really need to be educated on how to take care of them because it is very easy to kill an animal. Again, most people don't know that their digestive tracts need to be stimulated or that they can get it in their nose. By the way, if you only have a syringe, that is fine. But make sure you're going from the side of their mouth over here when you're giving them food because if you look, their mouth is so small. Look at it compared to the tip of this paintbrush. And that's their nose right there. And if they get stuff into their nose, they die. Um, but a syringe is fine. You just have to be more careful because it's easy to push out too much liquid and they can choke on it. They can get it up their nose. You just have to be really, really careful. So we are on day 15 of these little mice. Um, if we had found them and they were pinkies, which means no fur, um, pink skin, like really, really newborn, we probably would have called the nature center near us because the chances of us taking care of them are really, really slim and hard. And we definitely would not want to torture them for a couple days trying to take care of them. So they typically end up euthanizing them at a small age because... It kind of tortures them with somebody taking care of them with what is not their mommy's milk. It's just very, very difficult. These little guys are doing great. Um, we'll probably have them for another week or two. I will upload more videos as it goes on, and you guys can watch them grow. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do their digestive tract again because you should do it after feedings for sure. Like I said, the only reason why we're doing it before is because they were really constipated. So I just kind of make sure that it's all done. If nothing comes out, do it again in a couple minutes or you can wait until the next feeding. Whoops. <laughs> I'm just going up and down a little bit and then I rub their genitals. Anyways, um, I'm gonna continue doing this and feed the other little one and we will see you again in a couple days. Take care.